And here we go, the next match of Judgment Day in part three is Randy Orton versus Christian. Randy Orton took out Edge at WrestleMania. We haven't seen him since, but at Backlash, he went on to face Cesaro for the WWE Championship. And during that match, Christian came out, distracted Randy Orton, and Cesaro capitalized on the opportunity and retained his championship. And Randy not like that. He went after Christian a couple weeks after on SmackDown. He put Christian through a car windshield, and he is here. He came back a couple weeks ago on SmackDown, and you can see the battle wounds from the car windshield, from the glass that broke. It's probably still in his back or shoulder, but he is here to fight on behalf of Edge. He's not here still. He's not medically cleared. Here we go. Christian trying to get revenge, just like Edge heads. Hawkins and Ryder try to do on SmackDown, but Randy has some help with Kevin Owens I took the match pretty much a handicap match so Randy could heal for this match here we go Randy Orton's ready Christian not 100% with the bandages over his shoulder that's gonna be the main part of Randy's damage to Christian but a big knockdown takes down Orton for a cover and a kick out and a big uppercut Oh, the elbows. That's got to hurt for Christian. He's holding that left arm again. And it takes down Orton. Oh, here we go. Right down the punches. The Viper is going to strike. Oh, no. Gotta get out of there, Christian. He can't be here. He shouldn't be in this match. Oh, Christian coming back. Taking out Orton and Christian. I spoke too soon. Christian deserves to be in this match. Trying revenge for Edge. Trying to take down Randy Orton. He's going to do a lot more to do that. Just ask Cesaro. But Christian again with the neck breaker takes down Orton in the middle of the ring. Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. And a kick to the face. And Christian picks up Orton on his shoulders. And again, the gut buster. And but Christian is loving it. He's in control. And Christian's playing some mind games. Where he does best. But oh, just trash talking Orton. Boy, he takes him down. Gotta be careful not to get counted out here. Back in from the floor. And Christian back inside. Oh, a big Win. chop. Rick Flair style. We still need more answers about what happened during that match between Kurt Angle. But why did Brock Lesnar come out and attack Kurt Angle? You might never know, but hopefully get some answers on Raw or SmackDown. But Christian is in control. The submission by Randy gets out of it. Quick, oh, that left arm again. Oh, oh the drop kick in the back. Just the elbow drop again. Lays down Christian. In the middle of the ring. Drags him. You build momentum. You and Orton. Oh. Every superstar is Going after every body right. part. That was hurt in that accident. On the car windshield. Orton got out of it. Another neck breaker takes down Orton. Christian is staying in this match, even not being 100%. He's fighting this match for Edge. But Orton's back to his feet. Orton with RKO takes down Christian. Boy, a quick match and a kick out. All this ref been messing up all night. But Christian, Christian. 
with a kill switch to bust it open. Brandy Orton. And Orton kicks out of it. But Christian back on the offense in the attack. Oh, very dramatic. Paying homage to Edge. But Orton's back to his feet with a big clothesline. In the middle of rope. Takes down Christian again. And another elbow drop to the mix section with his bandages. And Christian is still holding that left arm. Oh, the knee. Right to the chest. Christian needs to watch out. He's going to get more injured more in this match. And Orion again going through every body part. A Christian can never die attitude. And Orion again on the head with a knee. And Randy Orton just picking the ball. Oh, geez, Christian. Christian all over the top rope. Christian just haunting on the outside. Gotta get Orton back inside the ring. Back now inside the ring. Here we go, back inside the ring. Christian picks up Orton. Oh, it takes him down. Christian is calling for another kill switch, probably. Another kill switch. Here we go. He gets him into the cover. And a kick out by Orton. Are you kidding me? Christian can't believe it. Nobody can. Oh, Orton going for another. Oh, jeez. Orton to the top rope. Probably looking for his family trademark and the suplex. Oh, but Christian got out of it. Christian got out of it. Edge of Manic again takes down Orton. But Orton. And again, Christian. I'm going to get out of there. I did this match it for the World Heavyweight Championship EC3. And Batista. But Orton again doesn't care about that. He's cares about like getting Christian. Make him pay what he did at Backlash. Wakes up Christian. Oh, Radidis. Hey there. Vintage Orin. There you go. And Orin is in control once again in this match. Puts Christian in the corner now. On the top rope. Going for that superplex. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. He's going for that RKO to finish things off. He is an RKO from that top rope. An avalanche RKO. That can very well do it. That's dead weight right there. Christian. He kicks out. Christian kicks out. Oh, now this ref, the ref. You gotta watch out. Randy is hearing voices in his head. He is not happy. He is not happy. This match should have been over. Now Randy, the Viper, is gonna strike. He's gonna attack Christian for everything he got. He's gonna make sure he pays for what he did at Backlash.
and Randy Orton taking time to taunt the fans, boo him out of the building. Oh, God. And again, Randy Orton went to every body part. Apex Predator is on the hunt. Christian, it was good knowing you. But Orton is setting up for an RKO. And he's ready to strike. And he does with another RKO for the third time in this match. And he gets a three. What a match. And Randy Orton comes out victorious. Orton sent up for a punt kick. There's Edge. Edge is here with a spear to Randy Orton. Saving his best friend. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Here we go in the main event of part three at Judgment Day. But the return of Edge is the main story of Judgment Day. Edge is back. And his focus is on Randy Orton. Wow. But now, we turn to our attention for the World Heavyweight Championship. This man didn't get their, his rematch last series. He lost EC3 Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. That EC3 won the Royal Rumble, defeated this man, and then went on to WrestleMania to defeat Triple H in the main event and become World Heavyweight Champion. I am in the top 1%. And here is the man, the new legend of Series 2. He ended the story with Triple H in the last pay-per-view at Backlash. And he is here to make a name for himself once again. EC3 is here at Judgment Day to defend his world heavyweight championship against the old rival in Batista. He wasn't involved in Evolution, but EC3 was. And you guys know what happened there. And let's get in to this main event of part three, featuring that man, EC3, and Batista is already in the ring for the world heavyweight championship. Introducing the challenger from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal, Batista! And introducing the champion, weighing in at 231 pounds, he is the E.C. The big gold belt up for grabs here tonight. And here we go. Batista's ready. EC3's ready. Here we go. EC3 starts out with a big clothesline, takes down the animal, the former world champion. He lost his title at the Royal Rumble last series to Triple H. What a match that was, but here we go, the new match, the rookie against the legend. And Batista, a little jackhammer. Remember at the Royal Rumble, EC3. Lost the Intercontinental Championship to Goldberg with the help of Triple H with a low blow. And Batista is trying to remember that to EC3. EC3 counters, takes down to Batista. You know, a big knee. And here we go, EC3 with the elbow drops and a kick in the back. Another elbow. 
and disrespecting the animal he shouldn't be in this match to be a new competitor but Batista again is rematch got rematch clause AC3 oh god over the top rope busting him open right off the tooth right there but AC3 going to the top rope Oh, a frog splash. Well, Batista got his knees up, I think. He got his knees up. Oh, Batista throwing around EC3 like a rag doll. These two powerhouse, but Batista gets them over at a big advantage. He's an animal for a reason. Batista on the outside with EC3. And a suplex on the outside. Takes down the world champion. No, you see three not throwing around Batista. And he's heading back in. Yeah, inside the ring. But he's gonna have to beat the count. Is that nine? Is that nine? Gets back in here. Well, AC3 just laying down the punches of Batista. Ooh. Got a big drop kick. Takes down the animal again in this match, but this time in the oh, ring. Oh, what a and Asa Gary missed. No oh, big chops from the winner of earlier tonight, Ric Flair, his mentor. Oh, here we go. A big spine buster. Takes down Batista in the middle of the ring. And a kick out by Batista. EC3, EC3 picks up Batista and a one for center. And a one for center, that's one in this match. Ripper goes for the cover and a kick out. And a kick out. This is gonna be a war. This is gonna be a war. And again, EC3, they get the early tonight. Try and get another tooth out of Batista. He won't quit, but it might be better if he did. Batista needs to find the beast within him now. And here we go. He's either gonna get revenge from Raw. Batista put him through a table with a Batista bomb. Easy three. Oh, Batista with a spear to the outside. Oh man, Batista breaks the count. He's going for another Batista bomb. Oh, see three now. Doesn't matter. Oh, almost. Almost. Batista. Batista. Puts these three on the table. Going for another Batista bomb. The same thing he did on Raw. Puts on again through the table. Oh no, this could be it for EC3. Batista gonna finally get his championship back. He never got a rematch for. Here we go into the cover here. Going through the table. And a kick out from EC3. And Batista can't believe it. Oh, big clothesline. And a big clothesline. EC3 picks him back up. Oh God! Takes him down. The flatliner. Oh, we're going for something there. But Batista with a big boot takes down EC3, the world champion. He's trying to make him a former world champion and make Batista the new champion in Series Two on Raw. Oh God! A big clothesline. Batista is calling for it. Going to the, probably going to the top rope here. We have in store here. Going to the top rope here. Go for a, a power bomb. Batista bomb on the top rope onto the mat into the cover. Batista, Batista, almost oh, became world champion. Wow. What a sequence, Batista 
once this match is done. Oh, another flatliner. EC3. Good God. This man has heart. This man has heart. And EC3 splash. Takes down Batista. And he's waking up Batista. He's going for a pedigree. He's going for a pedigree. Saw on the wound. He's got a pedigree on Batista. And a kick out. Oh, man. EC3 having flashbacks. Adding the pedigree to his whip patrol. Now EC3 with a big comeback here. Now he's trying to haunt Batista's dreams. Become a world champion again. He got the raw title Triple H. But a spine buster by EC3. And a kick out. And a kick out. And Batista going the outside. Doesn't know what to do. He gotta figure out what to do. Hit everything. He's gonna throw a table. Hit an avalanche power bomb. But EC3 with a big clothesline. A big clothesline. Go for another pedigree. Go for another pedigree. Are you kidding me? Another pedigree. And another kick out. And another kick out. He thought that would do it. That did the Royal Rumble. But well, a big slap by AC3. Good call. And then Russian leg sweep. And Batista got to roll out to the outside. EC3 tell him off. Get inside their ring. Be a man. Finish the job. I throw him the outside now. Going to that top rope. There's that frog splash he was looking for. And he still got his knees up. He didn't learn. He didn't learn from the last time. Oh, a straight punch. But he's still, is back in control on the outside. Oh, God, just toss him in the midair. Oh, God, a flatliner. Comes AC3 on the outside. Getting Batista inside the ring. Here we go. AC3 puts him in the corner. Takes some time. EC3 with a big splash in the corner. And this could do it. Waking up Batista. Looking for the one for center to finish this mad jaw. Just like he did at Triple H again. Doing the Batista. Another one for center right after the other one. Going for the cover here to retain his world championship. In which he does. What a match. What a match. The part three at Judgment Day. EC3 is still your world heavyweight champion. And this is going to do it for part three at Judgment Day. Edge has returned. EC3 is still world champion. We've got uh, one more part to do in Judgment Day. See you there. Like and subscribe. Peace.